Hey everybody, welcome back inside the Mind of Matt. And in this episode, I am going to talk about the outcome of my recent modification to my ANAT A8. If you didn't get to see that, it was a live stream, but it's right up here for you to take a peek at. So, but anyways, it is now um, quarter after seven in the morning, the following day from that um, upgrade. As far as uh, mounting everything up to the machine, it was pretty much um, eventless. Um, I did have a couple of lack of hardware, but I was able to make enough modifications until I can get to the hardware store to get the proper size. But other than that, um, it was really all in the settings and um, I did some research and it took me a while. That's where I kind of left you guys on the live feed and all those that attended, I think it was up to five at one point. Thanks guys. But anyways, um, so let's, uh, I, I did a couple of test prints. I had a couple of failures. I had to reset my bed. I had to reset my nozzle. Uh, I got on the support group and there's a bunch of guys out there that um, were just super helpful and a couple that weren't so helpful but anyways at the end uh, I got the right settings um, I will share them down in the description along with the Thingiverse parts that I printed out so that you if you print them out and mount them up and you use those settings it's a good chance that you'll have what I have so no guarantees just throwing it out there that anyways um, I did have a couple of things happen but anyway before I go to that I, I did want to uh, take the opportunity to the, like this was like a special night because I, I wasn't alone all right I was alone but I, I wasn't alone and I'll explain that in a second but um, when I put out the, the post on Facebook um, to the support group like one individual in particular who's kind of like been t there since the beginning of Inside the Mind of Matt I think um, th that he just kind of like reached out and said uh, can you take a video conference and I couldn't right away it was a little couple clicks of the mouse and I installed a new program and boom I've had a special guest which uh, this is James uh, I'll okay. give you a link to his uh, YouTube channel. He's uh, building an A-Net as well. And uh, he kind of like went to the opposite end of which I did. He's like doing the software and getting all that set up for future stuff versus me. I kind of like just did all the, the calibration tweaks and this, that, and the other. But... Um, this guy, I mean, we, we kind of sat here and chewed the fat, you know, all night long. I mean, this has probably been a, uh, a, I don't even know, I lost track of time. What time did we start this? About 9 o'clock last night. About 9 o'clock, so it's, it's almost 10 hours we've been working on this. And maybe excessive, but neither one of us are, are experts in this, and... You know, the, the documentation that we were coming across was very vague. Um, but needless to say, we were able to tweak it and got it to the point where it knows where the center of the bed is. And, and that's what I needed it to do, really. So, But anyways, I have a real big shout out to this guy. Uh, I, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description as to where his channel is. You know, if you want to give him support too, that'd be great. But anyways, thanks James. You're more than welcome to just hang out while I finish, you know, showing everybody. So, a couple of the things that, you know, as you see, this is the, the new extruder hot end set to the right. Got my little Bowden attachment. And this is where I had, didn't have long enough screws. And then I had two longer screws, so I had to use like four nuts to 
space it off but this part in here is where it was giving me a problem and this is what I did is I drilled out that hole too much which is built to stop this from going in and it was like rocking back and forth inside of this little coupler and uh, creating a little bit of a an imperfection inside the walls so the other thing I had to do was adjust uh, my stepper uh, my e-steps for my extruder and of course I had to basically tell the firmware through g-code where this was because it actually moved it that way and this way and it was like not printing in the center but as you see I printed out that new part and it's in the center of the bed that adhesion good but the biggest thing I want you to see is that oh man I, I hope this camera shows dude this it's like you can see the layers but it's like feels like glass dude like like glass now that's really the important part about that is that calibration cube is it's tells you a lot about what you're printing and how you're printing it yeah i'll show you this i was just printing i made up a, a it's a 20 by 20 by 20 you know with four layers at the bottom and just hollow and that's what i was printing for a calibration cube but he showed me this and uh, I'll put a link in, down in the description as far as the Thingiverse uh, STL file. And I was still farting around with the, the Bowden tube when this was printing. So there's some imperfections, but you know I can't do it with one hand and hold the camera at the same time. But I was showing Jim earlier that I was prying on this little tower and it will not break. So And this is just, just PLA. So... I, I am super happy with this, uh, call this an official review if you want, but this is the official E3D V6 full metal hot end Bowden attachment stock ANET and here's one of the other things and even if you're not doing a Bowden all right this is what i discovered about this stock uh, tension adjustment it does nothing this screw screws in and it screws into the spring and then there's another you know set screw kind of you know just a threaded rod in the bottom and that's all it's doing is holding the spring so what i had to do is i put this nut on this side and by moving that nut now i've got more spring tension and that was able to give me enough bite on this to push it down through the tube did an e-step adjustment and had to bump it down actually from what i was doing from the stock and uh like i said i'll put all these uh settings in the description so that if you're looking to upgrade uh to an uh, E3D V6 or clone either way if it's that footprint and it, it'll fit in that mount these settings will get you dead center and hopefully get you working on a Bowden setup so anyways uh, it's been a, an interesting long night but my my goal was to not give up until I was you know printing something so that if I needed to print something, I could print something. So we're there. Big thanks to James again. Um, and uh, don't forget, if you like this video, then hit that like button and subscribe and share it on your social media and get the word out because 3D printing is going to be taking over. And uh, we're, we're the guys that are, you know, at the entry level, just tweaking and playing with stuff and, and trying to figure stuff out on, on our own with a little bit of references that are out there. So, you know, if you guys can get out there and you can share your experiences as well. You know, we don't have to be the only ones. So I'm just a guy 
next to his garage uh, with a bunch of stuff in it with a head full of ideas and a 3D printer. So keep coming back, everybody. Have a great night.